UNSC report to Office of Naval Intelligence, 2241. The most recent attack from the Soul Portal has been rebuffed. Our problems are not over, however, and likely will not be until the other side of that portal has been secured. Efforts in that regard are ongoing. Meanwhile, relations with the Ongoi do continue to improve. However, the Banished have closed themselves off to us, and us to them. Our Mac platforms are ever vigilant on the border. Also, in regards to the emergent Pricky T, they are the most hostile race ever encountered. However, they have seen fit to demolish the URF. So, we of the Admiralty are content to simply sit back for the time being and let them have their little war. End report. Hi guys, Tom from Project T here, and welcome back to Stellaris Responsibilities Mantle. It actually has a name now. It has a name. Last time, we've been dealing with the Banished and the United Rebel Front, and there's been a, a bit of a thing. We have the Prickety... Oh, we got a... Got a new researcher. We have the Prickety down here who have been fighting the United Rebel Front. We have some more of that. Not gonna go for the gateway just yet. I'm gonna go for exploration protocols. Seems like a good thing for our science ships to get. Our planets are doing well enough. We've got Skylar building a building there. The rest aren't currently doing anything. They have no particular needs. Our star bases. We are getting some more Fleet Command and Destroyers, because we need those. Good old Halberd Frigate. Aside from that, we just need to continue to upgrade our ships as well. Get some more UNSC weapons, because we're still using the coil guns, the basic stuff. We want to get some Archer Missile Pods and the likes. And let's not forget the fact that we found a Halo Ring down here at Broken Clock. Just kind of chilling. That's something we're going to be have to dealing with at some point, because you know Rebel Front have it. Though it doesn't actually do anything. Banished, meanwhile, they're not friendly, so we have both borders. It's going to be a... It's going to be a big thing. <laughs> and wanting to see if we can find the other empires as well. Oh, looks like we got a bit of a pirate action over here. The Ongoy are engaging a pirate fleet, so we get to see them in action. Yeah, those are lasers. And they're going to take out that pirate fleet easily enough. And... Down it goes. No more. The station took a bit of a walloping and plenty of debris down here left behind thanks to that mod. Which reminds me, we've got debris over at Seoul from that... Uh, those creatures that emerged from the gateway that are currently researching. I think we get regenerative armor from that. Which will be pretty good for our ships if we can research that down the road. Wreckage identified. Our crew aboard the UNSC Silberg report uh, that this year's ship wreck appears to be the result of an unexpected geomantic solar storm. Supply ship. Ah, it's a banished supply ship that was carrying minerals, so we can take it for ourselves or we cannot risk an allocation, which is what I'm going to do. We don't really need the minerals, only 300. So if we give it back to the banished, hopefully they'll react well. That is the idea, anyway. And indeed, they have. We have received well down with the cargo ship. We would like to stay in our gratitude. We're taking the time to recover it without the need for banishing intervention. Our pleasure, Jiro Hanai. Oh, look at this. Uh, magnetar. Magnetars are neutron stars with an extremely strong knowledge magnetic field. And we've got more knowledge. Extremely high density, they have a higher gravitational than some black holes. Magnetars are capable of emitting such strong gamma and X-ray radiation that they can damage electronic equipment located billions of kilometers from the star. The average lifespan of a magnetar is about one million years because of the strong magnetic fields. Movement around the magnetar is difficult. And the radiation emitted disrupts the operation of reflectors, rendering the shields of ships and stations useless. Well, it's got yeah, that's a lot of shield notification. Fortunately, we can still make use of the system, and we have destroyers. Uh, oh, it's, yes, get Mitchell. And we have our halberd over 
here we got some three coil guns at the front, some mass drivers, and some pick at the back. Uh, this is a bit of an upgrade to our frigates there. And as all the other ships we've had previously, it's all armor because you know UNSC. Uh, we got the level two reactor. Pretty much everything, the best that we could give it, which brings us back up to complete capacity because I've given one to each of. Them. Or at least I will give one to each of them. Oh, diplomatic grants available on boys. That's that's changed. I think we should go for that. More envoys could help out with the whole effort with the. E. Oh. Uh, never mind. Apparently we have an edict cap. Yeah, we're going to need to upgrade that at some point. Then we'll get the envoys because that sounds really useful to have more. Swirling clouds, immense ragged planet, planes of shadow drift across the surface. They are cast not by clouds but by. Sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere. Hinged, or rather jointed, to allow small degrees of articulation. Science of the Brinkman is yet unwilling to say whether these are flora or fauna, or what possible purpose, if any, they might have. Well, it gives me science either way, so frankly, that serves my purpose just fine. Our science ship, meanwhile... Needs to continue. That's an interesting system. It's a bunch of stuff out here. I want to see more of what this mod has to offer in terms of different star systems because there's been some pretty ones so far. A group of pilgrims have denied access to the holy place on Skylar by your governor. He has denied them access for unknown no reasons. It's outrageous, but we sure if you don't allow passage, behavior towards our people will not be forgotten. Well, that's a problem, but let's ask the governor first. Seems like a good idea. System and the governor system. seems relieved you took the time to speak with him before making a rash decision. He... Apparently <laughs> that. He informs you about hints of an imminent terrorist attack planned by covert operations of the Ungoy Assembly. He says they have tried to find supporters for the plan, but fortunately they contacted the wrong person. They tried to bring a loyal officer of the security personnel to their plan, and the officer was able to play the charade until he was able to contact the governor. Unfortunately, they were unable to find how many of our men were involved in the conspiracy, which is why he stayed quiet about it until now. So, grunt, su suicide grunts, you know. Gotta bloody love them carrying their plasma grenades. Uh, changes to security staff set trap don't risk it he's just paranoid I say change our security staff because only can deal with it if we can catch them in the act we might get some good stuff out of it seems like the wise course but if we leave it might blow up so change the security staff let's go and catch some mongoy just paranoia someone <laughs> must have warned them as no attack has been attempted those pilgrims just visited their holy place and left without making any problems or maybe that governor was just too paranoid for his own good. Uh, let's just say that our only agents did their jobs and scared them off, and no one would explode today, and we lost knowledge no reputation and more knowledge. Universe. That's always a good thing. Encounters. Ooh, more aliens. Is anyone, or is this just like space amoeba or something? Uh, oh no, it's a crystalline entity. It's not what I really wanted. If you can say I want any more covenant, but. No, that's a crystal entity. At least it's not going to kill us for the time being. Which is always a bonus. And I think it's time to finally add those destroyers I was talking about earlier. We increase the uh, capacity for our fleet. Have I two to home fleet maybe? Now nah, let's add one to each. Have like a flagship. More traits for the ruler, reinforce all. Mummified pilot. The mummified pilot of a single individual belongs to a previously unknown mammalian species has been found drifting in high orbit. The being is dressed in what appears to be a suit, complete with a helmet, and may be a fighter pilot that ejected in some ancient battle, only to be forgotten and left behind. Our study of the corpse provided some interesting data. A tragic fate indeed. 
a peace offer between the Prickety and the United Rebel Front. Seems their war has come to an end. I mean, it only took the Prickety taking up by a space and a mega structure. Also, oh yeah, it was the ruined Dyson Sphere. <laughs> of course, they only ended it after they took the Dyson Sphere. So research that. Automated shipyard. While conducting their survey, the UNSC Silberg detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least a thousand years old and seems to be subjected to a heavy missile barrage. But one of its manufacturing bays is still working condition. Brinkman is confident power can be restored to the shipyard, but it would be a significant project. However, I know this one. It gives us a, uh, well, for this point in the game, a decently powerful ship. Which is something I definitely want to do. So if we take that system and then get a ship out of it, that'll be fine. And there we are. Halberd class destroyer. Ready to go. Completed. Survey completed. Ooh, we have another tradition. Two left going on the diplomacy tree. I'm probably going to go for secure shipping for now, get some more trade protection. If we complete it, we get more trust growth with the Ongoi. So I want to complete that and it will help us improve relations. Speaking of the Ongoi, look at all. This, they've got a destroyer now too, a CDV was it from Halo? It was from Halo Wars originally, I remember that. Still, that's a big one. Another alien species, and oh it's hostile, that's not our empire. Space amoeba. Well, it's no Nyx, but I mean they're red and angry. Always fun to meet angry space amoeba. And the Banish want to form a non-aggression pact. Hello! That's unexpected, to be honest. I mean, they're the Banish. They aren't usually friends of humanity, though they aren't xenophobic, really, either. That's the thing about them. Still, weird for one of the big antagonists of Halo Wars 2 and the upcoming Halo Infinite. But I'll take it anyway. It means I won't die. And there we are. Archer, missile, pods. From here, that's, this is a lot of... This is all good stuff that I could get. Starhold's tempting. I might go for nanomechanics though, because that's a basic thing that I should just get going. Get some more science to help other things down the road, it's an investment. Meanwhile, we need to start adding these Archer Missile pods to everything. Get a full UNSC loadout on my UNSC ships. Uh, let me start with that. And go through the rest, replace all these coil drivers. Uh, extremely weak individually, but employed in large numbers, they can quickly overwhelm enemy armor and point defense. However, they struggle to tackle shields. Minus 50% armor, plus 50% armor, plus 100% hull, but less shield. And less general damage. Still, they only fire quicker, so. Take them. And the, the Halo, so we kind of honor bound to keep things relatively canonical because we've already broken it with the Banished. <laughs> hmm. Now that I think about it, we kind of need a Mac gun equivalent before we get actual Mac gun. So I have one coil gun on each ship to kind of be the Mac gun, like its main cannon. And then I'll supplement it with the Archer missile pods. And when I research the actual Mac guns, I'll replace these mass drivers with the Mac cannons, which are, well, should be more powerful if Halo's anything to go by. And from when I played this mod before, they were pretty decent. There we are, we have our Mac guns and our Archer Missile Pods. Now we're going full Halo. <laughs> Just need to wait until we get the Infinity before I'm going to start adding shields to these things, because that's when shields are introduced. Oh boy. Space amoebas. The entities encountered by a fleet some time ago are spaceborne forms of life. Quickly known space amoebas, they're larger than a corvette. Fascinating creatures. Let's kind of pacify them and make them friendly. Don't need to. Don't really need to kill them, do we? I take 39 months, 10 months just to do the other. Special project completed. The UNSC that has successfully restored power to the shipyard. The facility immediately returned its 
It's interrupted a construction order using what materials I have on hand to build an advanced frigate unknown design. Then the city broke down afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. So it's no good anymore, but we did get a ship out of it, which was the entire point of us doing this in the first place. Let's have a look at this thing. 965, but ooh, that's a uh, level 4, level 3. Overall, for this point in the game, that's a pretty decent ship, if not spectacular, but I won't say no. I won't merge with uh, Reach's Fleet. And oh, I hope that's a curator. Cur curator? Curator, that's how you say that. Yeah, we've uh, found an independent station down over here, and the weird cloud as well. If that's a curator station, then we'll be able to get a bunch of science from them, as well as learning more about the leviathans that might have spawned on the map. It could also be, say, commercial or the artists. Well, I hope not, because I, I don't really use them. I always use the creators, though. Ooh, that's a bang. So I have to claim that system once I know who they system are. System survey concluded. There we go. Get your butt over here. I'll be much obliged. You mining platforms. Hmm. I mean, if they're the curators, do they do strategic resources? I don't think they do. Do they? That's the. Uh... Oh, we have an election. And we are slightly over naval capacity right now. We've got that new ship. But it's only by two, it's not the biggest loss in the world. I'll just up that when I can get another station or upgrade one of my stations for more anchorages. Or a piece of tech would do as well if I can get my hands on an upgrade to naval capacity. That's always something I need to focus on. Meanwhile, the minus 36. I mean, they're taking a Sweet ass time getting that up. War philosophy. I mean, I am tempted at some point just to, for an episode to get rid of wars of aggression. Because if I did that, I could just invite them to a federation. Because, I mean, improved relations is as far as you can get right now. Their trust is maxed out until I could finish, finish that route in the Ascension perk list. On the traditions, rather. The Ascension perk is what you get from them. Yeah, there's not really much else we can do there. Rib Tickling Envoy is uh, lowering one yearly, so that'll last another episode and then be gone. <sighs> but, as it is, we are... Well, going up with the Banish as well. But we are at the end of today's episode anyway. It is 22.61. They're not so good. So anything further we do with all these guys will have to do in the next episode. So on that note, I thank you guys so much for watching. Keep safe out there and I will see you guys next time. Ta-ra!